Hey, what's going on guys? What's going on? Okay, this is my reveal video for the winners in my challenge competition. Uh, the first thing I want to say is you guys go to my Facebook page and go to my messenger. Alright, that's my Facebook page. Now hit me on Messenger, guys, and let me know who you are. Leave your mailing address, and I will mail your prizes and gifts to you, whatever how you want to call it. Okay? And then I'm going to delete your information. I have no need for your information, guys. You do not have to worry about that. I just appreciate you guys supporting my channel. And you know the, the whole situation support me with my channel. Thank you guys, man. <clears throat> because just the, tr the truth about the whole thing is, if you don't have any fans that like anything that you're doing, you know, in any kind of video stuff or whatever, uh, writing books, whatever, you're not gonna be anything. You're not gonna do anything. You can't do without people that like your stuff. So thank you guys a lot. So uh, I want to give a first shout out to the winner, Victor Hernandez. You're not fired from it, Victor. I hear you, dog. You in the game. You in the game. Thank you, man, for support, uh, participating in my competition. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do something a little bit different. But I'm going to give you this uh, five-piece hard lure set from Ozark Trail. And then I'm also going to give you my Trail of Evil series book five t-shirt, uh, Hunter's Realm. Appreciate you, man. All right. And for um, my, my other two guys, Dustin Smith. Man, you shot at it, man. You shot at it. You participated. Thank you for participating, okay? And um, Gaming with Mike. Hey, man, you shot at it. I appreciate you, man, really. Uh, everybody that watches my show, I mean, I appreciate you guys. But uh, for Dustin, for Dustin and Gaming with Mike, Dustin Smith and Gaming with Mike, I'm giving you guys uh, the one fourth and one eighth ounce spoon and inline sprinter set by Ozark Trail just for participating. Thank you guys, man. Hey, I appreciate everybody that, that watches my show. So just go on my Facebook page. And go to my messenger and just send me a message. And like I said, just let me know it's you. Send me your ad, your mailing address, and then I get your stuff mailed off to you guys, man. And I'm gonna delete your uh, your um, mailing information. And you know, and I appreciate you guys. Please keep watching my show. Thank you guys, man. I appreciate you guys for watching my show. Period. All right, all right, all right, guys. Now that we got all that stuff. Out of the way, let's get out there on that water. Got it. Got it. Got it. What's going on everybody? Thanks for going fishing with me. Hey, if you like this video, hit that like button for me. And if you like my channel, subscribe for me. Guys, I appreciate you. I promise, 100. Okay, we're back down here at the Sipsy River in Detroit, Alabama. At this, at this bridge uh, where I shot the video, Let's Try Shad in Detroit, Alabama. I'm gonna put that right here, okay? And uh, you saw the Sipsy River in uh, What Bite Shad in Gatman, Mississippi. I don't know what you catch in What Do You Catch in Gatman, Mississippi. I'm gonna put that right here, okay? You can check those two videos out if you've never saw them. Now, the reason I'm back down here because it's a different time of the year, guys. It's getting cold. It's, it's, it's basically, it should be winter time, 
Uh, it's like it's it's November. It'll be December, man, in a couple of days. There's gonna be some bigger fish in here. I know there's some bigger fish in here. I'm trying to catch something really, really big. Uh, we're trying to do a 10 plus. So let's see if we can pull something like that out of here right quick. Okay, let's get in this water. Okay, guys, I'm gonna be using uh, my excursion rod and reel combo with 20 pound line with the number four team catfish hook. And I'm using a, uh, a combination of the three split shots for weight and castability. The Sipsy River runs really slow. Every part I've been in and, and messed around with is running really slow. I found out why there are so many different species in here because the Sipsy River is actually an offshoot of the Black Warrior River. That's right, uh, up in Tuscaloosa, this is an offshoot of it. That's why it's got different species in it than the Buddy Hatchie River. You catch a lot more different species out of here than you do out of the Buddy Hatchie River. Um, you know, blah, blah, blah. I think that's a fun fact. But uh, check it out, guys. Um, let's get the, uh, the other, the other uh, bait and rod and stuff. Okay, guys, my second rod that I'm going to be using, and I'm not going to use them at the same time, is going to be my it's going to be my uh, quantum iron rod with my uh, Ozark Trail 2000 reel with 20 pound line, same setup. I got the the number four team catfish hook with the three split shots on it for the weight and castability. Um, let's get these things going, get them in the water. Okay guys, we're using frozen shad again, but we're going to put rubber bands around them, just like before. We're going to toss them out there, some pretty, some pretty big chunks, and uh, see what we can come up with. Now the shad is not fresh, the shad is like two months old, but I did freeze them. As soon as I caught them, I froze them, so they should be okay. All right. Let's get out there in that water and see what we can come up with. Okay guys, while we're waiting, <clears throat> same thing's going to get the little big pieces of shad. I'm going to uh, take my other um, excursion rod reel combo. And I'm going to throw this one fourth ounce uh, white spinner with silver spoon by Ozark Trail. I gotta see if I can get anything to strike it. Hey you guys, it's up here in this pole when I'm standing here, y'all holler at me right quick. But he's a fish on that white Ozark trail in line spinner. These fish are, man, are like super fun to catch. A nice little uh, large mouth. Like I said, 
said he's not a river monster, but he's right. Get him back in the water, let him get 10 pounds. Let's see if we can get another fish. That's the first fish of the day. Okay guys, it's the next day and uh, I'm trying a different spot. Uh, I'm still uh, in the area. I'm down here down in Southern Alabama in my hometown. This is a little offshoot from the Buddy Hatcher River. The Buddy Hatcher is probably 100 yards away from here. I've never bass fished over here. I have fished over here a couple of years ago and caught some, uh, some little bullheads. So uh, there, there was fish in here. So. I'm going to be throwing some uh, some bass lures and uh, we're going to see what we can come up with. Uh, let's get the, uh, get the gear and get off in this water. Okay guys, I'm using my excursion reel and rod combo with a 12 pound line and we're going to be throwing this white Ozark Trail 1 4th ounce inline spinner. This, uh, I fished down here. I've caught bullheads out of here before. Uh, I've seen stuff in here. And I really don't know what it was other than the bullheads that I caught. Let's see if we can get something to strike. On that Ozark Trail, inline spinning. Look at that. 
Nice little large mouth. That's what I'm talking about. Let's check that camera, guys. Let's get this champion back in the water. All right, all right. I don't know if that's the same one I had a second ago or not. Well, sometimes you just have to try till you get one. <laughs> another spot. I don't think we're going to get anything else to do. By the, the Smithfield locking down, Smithfield locking down. I'm sorry. Um, we're actually on a flooded day. Look at me, I didn't bring any of my catfish gear. All I've got is bass gear. Uh, I was down in, in, uh, in Amory uh, trying to finish this video, but uh, nothing was biting whatsoever. So I said, well, I'm gonna shoot on over here to Smithfield Let's see if I can, uh, you know, catch some fish. So, um, we're gonna throw out here in this water and see if we can get something to hit some lures. Now, I've never bass fish in this much water. Catfish, I've catfished a lot in water like this. And, and believe it or not, guys, with water like that, there are fish in there. It doesn't look like they would be. It doesn't look like they can swim in it. But they can. And they're in there. So, you know, uh, hopefully some bass can swim in it. I hope they can swim in it. Because what I, all I got is my bass here. Well, anyway, let's get in this water and see what we can get. Okay guys, we're gonna switch lures to the, this one third ounce Ozark Trail Spoon. It actually came out of the, um, the Ozark Trail inline spinner um, spoon set, five piece spoon set. And I'm using my, um, my, my Shakespeare Durango reel with my Mantis rod, my Shakespeare Mantis rod with 12 pound line. It's a lot of water out there. Let's see if we can get something to hit.
that just goes to show, even with a whole lot of water, you still can catch a nice bass. I'm proud of this fish. I threw a lot of lures out here in all this water today. Man, man, guys, sorry, my batteries died. I had to switch my uh, batteries back in. I messed his mouth up a little bit getting his hook out. But this is a nice little bass. Let's get him back in the water. Okay guys, he laid there for a second, but he, he came back to life. Even with this large amount of water out here flowing, you're still able to catch fish. It's just amazing, I love it. Let's see if we can get back in this water and try it one more time. This Ozark Trail, one third ounce uh, spoon is, is really popping. I've been having a lot of good luck on these uh, these spoon lures here lately. Got another one of those Smithville, Mississippi largemouth bass. Man, he's bloody. I'm sorry about that, guys. But there he is. Nice largemouth. Man, I hate that. Let's get him back in the water, make sure he's okay. Okay guys, if you guys want to try one of these spoons, I'm going to include it, include them in the link below. Just go down to my description. You don't have to try them if you don't want to, but it's pretty obvious that they really work. Wow. Let's see if we can get another one.
trick whatsoever, no editing. I caught those two fish back to back. That's three bass on that one spoon. What? That's insane, I love it. Okay, luckily this one, this was not, not uh, hooked real deep. This, they're schooling out there. I love it, let's get this champion back in the water. Guys, the goal, the goal is to, to, to release them safely without them getting hurt. Two of them, they were kind of deep hooked. They were uh, behind their gills and I had to take my time to work and get it out. But they swam off and that one was straight. Man, <laughs> it's gonna be a Ozark Trail one third ass spoon day today. Okay guys, Woo. we had a really, really good day fishing. We caught like three bass out of here, even though it's a ton of water flowing out there. I mean, that's a lot of pressure, but that just goes to show, you can catch fish when there's a whole lot of water flowing, especially in spillways and dams. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I have never caught a bass in that much water. Never. Catfish, yes. I, that's what I do. I, I, I'm a catfisherman. I fish for catfish a lot. Um, and just whatever bites. But um, those spoons, those Ozark Trail one third ounce spoons, in this cold weather, they're popping. Now, and I, like I said, I did include them down in a link down in my description. You don't have to buy them. You don't have to do anything. But I'm letting you know. If you like to check them out, they're down there. Um, when you guys do this stuff, like what I just did, remember guys, be safe, be careful. Because with that amount of water, when you're at a spillway, because it's, it's actually flooded. You know, you could, could accidentally uh, have an accident and fall in, just be real careful, be safe. Because I know you're gonna say, well Tim, you down there fishing. <laughs> so you know, and I and I and I am, you know, or was. But uh, you guys, take it light. Be safe. Have fun. Thanks for watching. Keep on going fishing, guys. Peace out.